is check this out. Um, I think something in my rear end is broken. Now, I'm going to try and reverse. I'm turning full lock. And it doesn't want to, like, limited slip. It's almost like it's locked. Okay. It, like, I'm laying... Okay, I, I let go of the clutch. And it rolls me forward. Almost because it's binding. Almost like spring tension. There you go. So, um, I might have to pull my rear end apart. I've never had this or heard of this. And then watch, if I go forward, we're probably gonna hear a big clunk. Oh, there it is. She's clunking. Oh, yeah, she's making some noise. Now I'm full locked to the one side. Huh. All right. Well, I think I got something broken in the rear end. Okay, so um, <clears throat> after you see that video there, I pulled my rear end apart. And there you go. See the spider gears? They are chewed. So let's see if I can rotate this. So definitely uh, took out my spider gears and that was what was causing the binding and the uh, popping. So anytime I'd turn I could drive forward and it wouldn't do it. So um, my ring and pinion gear thankfully is fine. There's no chips or anything in my ring and pinion. So I just have to replace these spider gears and probably going to use that parts car. Take out the gears from that and drop them back in here. So how you do this, uh, you'll take your pan hard bar and sway bar and move them out of the way because well, they're in the way at the cover. Um, you'll take off your brake caliper brackets. Um, I just took them right off where it mounts, not the actual caliper themselves. And I believe those are 15 mil. Those are 15 mil for the sway bar bushings, and it's an 18 mil for the pan hard bar. I just took the one side just to drop it down, but the sway bar you got to take both. Once you do that, um, in here, let's see, in this little hole right here, not the not the big hole, but this little guy. Um, you'll see there's this pin and then that little bolt right there goes in there and it holds that pin. Um, here's the hole where the pin goes through. That slides through the carrier, goes up and then that bolt holds it in. So uh, then the next step is, let's see I gotta use my foot here as I try and tell you. Okay. So you push the axles in and there's these C-clips -clip, C that are in there that hold the axle. Once that big pin's out, it allows the axle to come forward and then you can release those C-clips out. So that's the step I'm at. Then I can slide the axles back a bit, get this uh, piece out and the spider gear should roll out. And then... Uh, just to replace them, clean the casing and whatnot. But that's that's what happened. I was kind of what I predicted. Not in the video, but uh, after when I thought about it, it's like, well, how can a rear end bind and want to stay together? Uh, this pretty much is for the car to go forward, and that the spider gears allow the the wheels to turn at two different rates. So. All right, well. I don't know if I'm going to show you the rest of the video, but because I, I don't think I'm finishing today. I'm just going to pull it out and let the car sit for a little bit. Yeah, well, I might as well just show you. Uh, yeah, we have carnage. Yeah, 
<laughs> Definitely got its ass kicked. I guess it could be worse, but uh, yeah, <laughs> terrible. Uh, at least it did not take out my uh, ring and pinion gear. There was a lot of stuff at the bottom. But, well, we know what it is. Okay guys, this is my parts car. And I'm gonna just show you what I'm doing to take these spider gears out. Because, you know, it's going in that car. So what I'm going to do is spin this rear end and there'll be a bolt right here. So it's a 5 16 so it holds this pin in. So, let's put it on here. Oh, she's tight. Oh, there it goes. So all I did was, uh, you could see this here is my pan, the pan hard bar on the parts car. Goes up in that hole. And uh, the sway bar. So I just dropped those out because they get in the way of the diff cover. So it just makes it easier. I'm gonna spin this out and be back. All right, I got the bolt out. Now let's see here. I guess it goes up. So I'm gonna have to turn the cover. <sighs> Or the diff. It's hard to do this on the phone, but there we go. Ah, yuck! <laughs> and this here will just slide it out. Oh. So stiff. Let's go. There we go. This pin comes out. Let's put it in there. Um, now what I have to do is tap this S spring out. So I'm just going to use something to push this. You need something blunt. I think I just used like a. a an extension on for like a half inch ratchet and it just tapped on the end and the, this pushes out on the 373 gears uh, the face of these teeth come out more so you need to tap it out uh, it just slips past like you'll you'll tap it out and then you got to wedge something in between these teeth to get it to guide over um, but see here with the two seven threes, there's room for it to just pass pass by, and then getting it back in is going to be another chore because again it's got to go in on an angle and slide in in here. But I'm not there yet, so but sorry. The first thing you have to do is see inside. That's your axle. So I'm gonna push this in. See that? Just push that in with my foot. That is a clip, and those have to slide out. Let's see if I can get that out with my finger. Well, it's this is too hard with you guys on the phone. <laughs> but anyways, those clips have to come out, and then you could slide your axle back out, and then this S spring can slide out otherwise it'll jam up on the axle okay now I have those C clips out of the way just you can actually just pull on the axle but the axles you can push it from here too but now I can tap this up and out So, I don't think I'm going to be able to show you, I'll try, I'm just taking this and just hitting on the end and then just tapping it up. Okay, so I tapped it from the other side as far as I could, 
and then it it would hit off the carrier so it's like the three or the uh, ring ring gear so it's like the 373s except for the 373s go even even further out um, so you gotta kind of take a screwdriver to guide it to come over and miss the the, the teeth see and, and I spun the carrier to bring the side that comes out more now I just gotta manipulate it to come out and then after that your spider gears should be able to roll, roll out, rotate out. Okay and the spider gears are out so I push on the spider gear that has the pin going out and I'd, uh, depends on which way, it'll let you push it out and it'll roll it'll roll the other gears and then it slides out same thing with the other side if it doesn't go one way it'll go the other um, and then you gotta watch when you take these out you gotta keep these in the same orientation so and they won't always necessarily come out like all of them didn't come out so you gotta reach in there with your finger and use your nail to get them to come out and don't forget there's gonna be one like this top washer is going to be in there and it's going to feel like it's part of the diff. So you got to get your finger in there to get that washer out of there. Alright, uh, gears are in. So to get this, it's a bit of a pain in the ass to get these gears in because you got to get one from one side. You almost start in the middle and you got to somehow get the other gear on the other side and you gotta like I was using my foot to try and rotate this gear to suck in the spider gears and if you're off off a tooth this the pins not gonna go in so it's a bit of a pain in the ass to start to fight with it so you gotta make sure that they line up evenly so the pin can go through but before you even do the pin once you know it's lined up evenly you have to get this S spring in and how I did it was uh, I have the screwdriver and I put it in between the tooth here and I, I, I kind of held it like that and then I tried to get that spring in as far as I could and once it was kind of in there, I was able to hit it with uh, sorry, this guy and just tap it in and it slid in. So it is a bit of a F around, but with some patience you can get it. So now that it's all together and uh, the spider gears on the other card look pretty much mint. Uh, this here is ready to go back together, and I'm going to show you. I'm, i got to clean up all the surface here to remate the new seal. But I'm not using my old cover. I'll show you what I'm using. I bought this beautiful piece. Um, hopefully this here will prevent some more damage from happening. So what I'll do is you you get these to touch your end caps. See that? And apparently it does not need much pressure. You just tighten these. I think it's like five foot pounds of torque. So unloose loosen the jam nut. And it's just enough to touch your end caps to keep under torque from flexing I guess it's a stronger housing too it just ties the whole pumpkin in and look at that fill and drain that's that's beautiful so it's gonna be much easier to oh, there we, oh, my camera was doing something funny there but, so I got that going on and pretty much I'm I'm finished so I guess you don't really need to see much more from here Thanks for watching.